Why, hello, and thank you so much for joining me this Game Edge. We're back in, of course, The Infected. Boy, man, this whole tech thing has changed up everything. If you didn't see the last few updates, there's also now a trader, a whole bunch of stuff. Go and check out the last video. And again, you guys are probably wondering, why are you in the middle of the field? Well, just down there, I moved everything up here, which I learned a little bit about uh, moving this thing again. I, I mean, initially, remember when I tried to move it in the last season, the developer didn't have this up and running, and then finally decided that we could move it, which was fantastic. Uh, yeah, it was really great. So look, now we can we moved it up here. Now the only thing that blocked me from moving was these forges and these uh, these ones right here, these plank cutters here. So all over here, uh, this is only two things that really kind of stopped me. Uh, it was a pain. A lot of you, it's about uh, two days of work, uh, and of course you see there's now wood and stuff. I started putting something there. Uh, probably going to be preparing something big here for us to build. I have an idea of something. Uh, but while we're here out and about doing some stuff here, we're going to need to uh, work on uh, to getting ourselves a new tech. And while we're here too, because I know probably the sun is getting to me, you guys know where in the last bar at the bottom right there is this 88, now 89 to 100. That is a sun that's actually right on us. The only way to stop us from having issues or well, rebounding from it is actually right-clicking this and using the sun uh, sunburns and resistant. I, I don't know. It doesn't block. It doesn't feel like it blocks anything about it. Uh, but it does uh, help out for when if you want to regenerate it. Anyways, we have a light value now at 6.901 because of these things. And they're probably going to go up because I need to uh, do other things here too. <laughs> uh, so let's go and take a look at what we need to do, right? We have a bunch of techs we've opened up already. We have a looms done. Uh, we also have the advanced workbench. And we have the butchering table. All very important stuff. Uh, we'll explain, well, the loom is very understandable why I have a vast workbench. I, I need more copper. And the only way of doing that is actually putting it into the mines over there. Now we can, guys, I'll show you guys the mines. It's a, it's a little bit of a trick. Uh, the rack technology, I need these. The drying racks and stuff, I need to unlock this. But fortunately, I actually, I need two more at least after we have. We still have one point left. I need the rack, I need the forge technology to keep going. These are two that really kind of get me going, but they need the extractors. And without that, I can't build the advanced workbench, which holds me off from some stuff I really need to do. We also got the butchering table. You guys saw that, that's very cool. So extractors it is this time. I'm gonna need to go back out and get some more for sure. Uh, we're gonna slice and dice this baby here. Oh boy, I don't have a second canteen and I have to wash my hands is all the way down. Oh good, actually this is good. I didn't fill up my canteen yet. Okay, good. Uh, I could grab dirty water. That's even better. All right, so let's do this. Let's just slice and dice this. Because if you use your full water, you're going to use it all. Oh, okay. Yep. Don't have any room for that. There we go. Uh, we can put these in here and make ourselves a whole bunch of crushed bones. And not mistaken, to make those arrows, we need the advanced workbench. So it's not anything I could do today, but we were going to look at that very shortly. Trust me. I also uh, fix up some of these uh, fine things here. Uh, we can make ourselves a quiver, which I think takes this and some rope also. And yeah, some rope. Okay, so before I forget anything else here, I'm going to need to go into this. I need to take my bad one here, and we're going to right-click and wash hands. That's going to empty out the canteen, and so that is good for me. And then I have some fresh water in here. I'm going to cook up the said liver. We're going to need those. Big time. I think I had one little piece of frog on there. I was waiting for you guys. That, By the way, that goat, I knocked it by mistake and it got really angry. That's the reason why we're at this issue right now with him on the well, on there. I decided, you know what, screw it. I need it. So I'll take it. We're okay. And I'll wait for actually for liver. And what we'll do, we'll get ourselves some points for liver. You can leave that cook. It won't burn. All right, so we need to take these out. And I need to make the quiver. So the quiver, I believe, is two and two. Last time I remember seeing it. Boy, if I remember that. Oh, I'm freaking amazing. Okay. So, <laughs> wow. I can't believe I remember that. That's wicked. So that is good. So we have the quiver now. And the quiver, we actually happen to have some arrows that we had ready from last time when I didn't really realize it. And there we go. We can get the 40. I'm not mistaken there. Of course, we're going to want to... Actually, wait. There we go. Get rid of that. Uh, yeah, if you want... Oh, the chicken is very tempting right now. We'll get rid of the forest field there. It's not really a forest field. Uh, but yeah, we're going to need to get ourselves a couple of more arrows too. And I need to make... Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this. Make some room. Let's put this in here and craft max. That's perfect. This way we're saving up a little bit of space. That I like to see. And then I need more rope. 
because once I make those arrows, we're going to need a few more of those. Correct, correct. So, yeah, put this down and craft that baby up. We can put the 12 in here. We need 25. We can actually eat this and have a little bit of waters. That's beautiful. And we need some sticks. Okay. Okay, I'm just trying to stay out of the sun as much as I possibly can. All right, so let's look at this here. I hear you, buddy. Trust me, I'm going to come snap your neck one day. Right over here, we got ourselves a bone arrow. So these are, again, uh, I need this to be an advanced workbench. You can see it right in there. We don't have the copper for it. We only have one. We need two for that. Uh, we can do this and do max. How many do I have? These should go automatically into there. What are we at, 20? 24. There we go. 31. Perfect. I'm just going to get a few more. If I can't, chicken hasn't seen me yet. <laughs> I think I have enough stuff to do this here. Max that out. Okay, perfect. And we're at 40. Just like that. That's a really well done game match. I know. My guy can't believe I got it right on the dot. Okay, so we need to remove these rocks. I'm going to snap that chicken's neck. <laughs> oh god okay so we need to put these back in here we don't need them curly we won't need the feathers for a bit and the only thing that's going to make uh, things now happen is i'm going to need to get another crate in a bit but we're going to have to make some of these here i'm going to need like 18 of these if not mistaken so it's going to be some serious amount of work boom boom light this up uh we have to watch out for light value so i'm really trying my best to uh you know, stop them as soon as I'm not using them right now and because I'm once it happens we're gonna get attacked and I don't like I said I'm still having an issue with that attacking thing we'll turn off that force field in a second there and we'll be able to see a chicken with this you don't need this here it just tells you where you can build you can also move it around now too pressing and move it around so fantastic too all right so attempt uh, bases are gonna be changed to name <laughs> not temp base anymore uh so we moved everything I man god what a pain in the butt that was where's that chicken there he is there he is. Okay, at least tells you where the arrows are. God. Is it no? What the hell? Oh my god. Really? I think these ones break a fudge ton, so I probably lost like a bunch of arrows trying to get one. <laughs> Chicken. Should have come a little closer. Yeah, they broke. So the bone arrows, that's a great thing about them, but I don't think they break as easily. Uh, so now I'm like down by three, but whatever. It's not the other world. Okay, so we need that. And we also, oh, I thought it was something. I need eight planks. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? I have eight. Perfect. We're going to do this. Placeables and storage. And bam. We're going to come back over here. I'll place this here temporarily. Okay. And then we have. I think I'm just going to make them all here. Okay. And then we're just going to place them in here. Pow, pow. Very efficient. It's actually perfect, too. Love it. Okay. So last stack. So we're going to need one, two, three. Four. This is going to be ten when it gets to the end of this. Right now I have how many here? Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I think press zero to put away stuff, by the way. There's no hole. That's a holster button zero. So I'm missing, currently was it five? I'm missing three more for us to get this completed. We did get six feathers, so whatever made up for the arrows I lost. A little bit. All right, so that's completed. We're going to place that down. We're going to need also eight nails. Well, I don't know if I'm doing this by memory or not, but this is pretty good because I've done this a lot. And for some reason today, I'm like clarity on this. And I think it's eight more of these. Four, five, six... Seven, eight. Oh, that would be really nice to have. Another one of these. We probably could use leather. He's getting mad, though. All right, he's getting up. Yeah, he's getting mad. There we go. He's dead. Perfect. All right, pick you up. Bring you over here. You can always do this like this, make your life a lot easier. You can bring this sucker in. It takes forever or else. Pick this up, place him here, and you're ready to go when you're ready. Yeah, whenever you pull in, you have nothing in back, it'll pull him like this too. So there's a 
pull forward. Yeah, it does both, so don't worry about it. Okay, so we need to shut this off right away. Yeah, I'm talking about the cart, by the way, if you guys are wondering. Okay. Uh, we'll come back and pick these things up. We're just going to make sure. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Life values are going up. I'm just watching that. I'm like, okay, hurry the freak up, dude. Okay, so let's grab those. We're going to take the ATV there. We're going to also bring some biofuel for this thing. And biofuel is made with these. Oh, uh, 18, right? This 18. Cool. We'll place these back in here. Do I have? I think I have some biofuel. I have four, which I think will fill it up. Is there any more in here? Bad food? No. Nothing else went bad, eh? No. All right. So we'll work on the uh, biofuel esque kind of things. Uh, things when they go bad, they'll just turn into that. So it's good to have an extra crate underneath there. Uh, we're going to take this baby here. And we're going to take as much as I possibly can and shoot it in here. Because obviously this is the heavier stuff than the other one. So we're going to want that in there. I thought I saw a bear. I don't know why, but I thought I saw a bear. All right, we're 97 on sun resistance. It's not horrible. You can place this right here. And start throwing some meats and stuff in there if you want to go bad. Even this a uh, little bit of uh, stuff like that. That'll be great. Uh, it'll be enough for us to start and get going. I believe you can still use the oil too, but I prefer not to. I'm going to go over here and grab myself a little chunk of this beautiful stuff. Uh, this does not affect the life value, by the way. So that is your choice. Either leave it on or not. But whatever, I'm going to turn it off. Not need it right now. It takes two seconds to light it back up. We're going to fill ourselves back up. Beautiful. All right. I need another mining thing too. Uh, one of those would be great, but I grabbed two by mistake. And I need fiber. Okay. So if I grab, actually, if I go in my little book, we you know, first put a rock, grab one of these, then go with my little book, and there we go. It makes my life a lot easier. There's a whole bunch of uh, stuff you can make there. Craft up a note pickaxe. Oh, yeah, I know it's helpful. If I drop something, uh, what's my spear at? Jeez, not very good. All right. Thank God I have that. Okay, so let's do this again. This will do it automatically. I'll you know, pinpoint exactly what we needed. I have two pickaxes. The other one is already broken, so we need to keep ourselves all good and ready to go. All right, so light values and stuff are going to stop right now. We're going to make our way out and about. I think I have everything. Let's just double check. I've even checked the book. Make sure that was correct on what I need to bring. 18 ingots. I was right. Eight planks and eight nails. Now, I didn't even check that beforehand, so that's just out of memory. Pretty good. I'm proud of myself. Now, where do you need to go? Oh, okay, so the X marks the spot. There is one right there. Is there a town nearby after that? We can hit up the town there, maybe. It's still far away. There's one through here. I don't know. I got everything on me, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> We're going to find out in a little bit. Uh, we're pretty far off the road in this place, by the way. So if you're wondering, it is. I'm just going to grab these things. Like I said, I need fruits and vegetables. So I could have done that without popping off. I need fruits and vegetables. And, of course, for our cells. And also for biofuel. So you can stack yourself up as much as possible. Later on, it's just going to be tons of it. You're going to have too much of it. Uh, for now, it's just fantastic. I mean, you just want as much as you possibly can find. It's not that far down the road, which is great. I'm loving that. It's... Uh, pretty much just around that corner here i can probably cut through up here let's open this up here let's make sure i'm correct yeah i can cut through right here can i make this little hidden tree oh no ow i barely touched it but boy it flung me around so we're gonna be careful now because we're not gonna see very much when we're doing stuff there's also mushrooms and stuff which we're gonna need uh, we're going to do placeables and this one and that one. Uh, here it's fine. We're just going to make the crates like this. Perfecto. I think it does make a difference. Anyways, engine there or not. Boom. Put all that goodness in there. Oh, you know what? I'm such an idiot. Yeah. Put over here. Light. Oh, it's be better than nothing. It's not great, but it's something. And I brought a whole bunch of stuff with me. It's just really not what I should have done. Don't worry, I'm going to be cutting down more trees. I won't need this anyways. Might keep some of that. And grab this. 
Okay, and then we're going to place this into here. And we want some, right now, currently we need copper. All right, so power on. And it takes 10 minutes each. Now, the good thing, I think, from last time is they don't give us stones anymore. Oh, oh. Oh, I took two. I'm so used to my bow and arrows. It gives you a little bit of meat, by the way, and nothing else. These are the mushrooms. We're going to need them for later on. Kind of actually recommend you to collect them uh, as much as possible. You will start going through them quite a bit. Now you probably say to yourself, why are you bothering mining if you have to wait for the other stuff to come in? Well, you still can get iron and stuff. And you get small stones and lead like this. There's always like something. Why is there three dough? Used to be only two. And I can also get iron out of this. And those are the big chunks that can make steel. And steel is very handy for many things. Now, there's probably like two scorpions in here. Sometimes one over here and such. So, got to be careful. Or maybe sometimes around this corner too. So, uh, best way to do this is, I mean, in a previous version, I'm not sure it's the same. There is actually right here. You get some coal. If you want to hit that up. My pickaxe is about to break. There we go. As expected. That's why we made another one. Yeah, it's three pieces. So, it's just... Giving us more bang now? Okay. Yeah, I didn't see anything good like iron. It doesn't seem to be popping out yet. I want to see iron just once. Okay, we also get clay. How much weight am I carrying? Oh, yeah, it sells me a dare anyways. Gee. Going to hold off on the coal right now. It's not mandatory. Oh, man, I'm not seeing any iron now. Sometimes, like, in previous, again, I don't know if that's switched now that we have to wait to now she get our iron this, you know, the other way. But the big chunks, the only way to get them is through this. So, I don't know. Hopefully, we're going to see one pop up. And that way, we can kind of get ourselves out and about now and look for some stuff. I just need to do, like, one town... Ta oh, shite. I just got hit by a scorpion. Yeah, there he is. All right. Nasty little bugger. And he's actually got me once. Wow, his shoulder. He could... Uh, that's one hell of a reach, dude. That's one freaking hell of a reach. Uh, hell. Yeah, it's kind of scary right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, let's go through this here for a second. I, I don't know why I'm not seeing iron at all. Uh, we can use a bike anyways to drop this stuff off. We still have the loom tech to make and a whole bunch of stuff, but I mean, lead's gonna be very important. But without the actual metal, uh, the iron, it's really worthless. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not not feeling the. Uh, the love here from this cave. Uh, I've, I've spent some time in caves a long time, and then suddenly it'll just give me iron all the time. There we go. Okay, just made me feel better. That was an iron chunk uh, right here, like these. And you mix these two together, and you get yourself steel. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have my stuff I needed, but now my pickaxe broke, and I'm trying to get more loot, and it's getting a little difficult. So we're going to try our best to make ourselves one last pickaxe here. Boy, they go quick when they're this cheap and this early on. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, we should have another copper in here. Very nice. We got a copper we needed. Lovely. I'll take it and put it in there. Uh, that is something important. Let's go do one more stack. Uh, run around here. Uh, there was a lot of them when I walked before I walked out of the cave. And uh, let's see if they can just do one last shot here. I'm only looking for one and one single thing. I went in to get some vegetables and stuff, by the way, if you're wondering. Uh... Yeah, I, I need <laughs> need iron. I've not seen any more since the last time we saw it together. That was a while back. About six minutes, to tell you the truth. There we go. Like, I need you guys. That's what I need. I need you guys to be on with me. So, yeah, pretty cool. So, if we could get a couple more of these, I can make myself some steel. Uh, hopefully, in the future here, we can get that completed. And we're going to need to go get more text and stuff. Those are just lead, I know. People are probably going to say, but if we attack some of these baddies and all that, we can also get them in drops sometimes in their bodies, which is great. But this is really not good, dude. The amount versus what we get is is horrendous. Now, it's the only way to make steel is by actually getting one of these chunks. I don't think it would five in there. You need to actually have them. So I don't know. 
Uh, we'll let it be then. We'll just get going because we need to go and make the advanced workbench today. Yeah, definitely got to look nice. Now we just got to get ourselves one forge up and running. Oh, God. Okay, one forge up and running here. Uh, I'll get the stuff I need in there. we get the rocks out of this. We want to. Okay. I think I have to shove this on the anvil. And we can do boom, boom. And then a whole bunch of steel ingots. Beautiful. We have three of those. Perfecto. And we're going to shove... Uh, actually, I need one more of those. One like that. And I actually had a whole bunch more. I didn't realize it. I think we got them off the guys, by the way, if I'm mistaken. So it is what it is. Uh, where's my copper? There we go. That's what I need right now the most. Okay, start that fire. We can get ourselves maybe steel. And how many do I have? One, two, three, four. We have four or four. Perfect. So bam, bam. And then get those going. And we can use some of those afterwards for uh, other things. So, yeah, it's not a big deal. It just also lightens up the load of inside my chest um, when I actually don't actually put them in the forge and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? So this is the best way of doing it because I'm going to use them for steel anyways, uh, pretty much. So this is going to be another chest I'm going to have to go and get. We could try to do that coal thing too. It'd be fantastic. Uh, for now, so I guess I'm going to put you in here. There we go. Right, and you can take this. Okay. So, we're good to go, and the rest... Oh, yeah, I seized the stuff, because I ate some stuff. And I grabbed some stuff as we went through this. Oh, yes, this stuff needs to go inside there now. And I'll put the extra raw meat. Pumpkins and that. They're going to go bad soon later. I guess we can eat up on here. All right, it's taking friggin' ever. I'm just thinking, do I really need this? I don't know. I'll bring them out. Just let, let it deal with it afterwards. It's not a big deal. I think tomorrow we need to go back out and do the other stuff. Put the steel inside there. We're going to do the advanced workbench. Placeables and the workbench right there. Advanced. This baby right here. It doesn't make a difference. I don't know why I'm rotating it, but it is. I need 10 nails. I need... Two iron. Oh, shit. Okay. Two iron. Do I have? I think I do. Yep. Nails. I need one more of these. On the anvil. Bam. Get those nails going. Now we have ten more. Perfect. And ten planks. Okay. Okay. Perfect. No waiting for anything else, baby. Yeah, it's that's definitely a whole lot better now. We got everything pretty much uh, you know, up and running here properly, too. I love the way this is looking. Really do. That we got, uh, you know, this much stuff. No, the look of that thing. That's not what I'm talking about. Just like that. We actually got it. Which means that I got the darn arrows I think I can make them. Which is not bad. I, but I just feel like I wasted. But it could always be a good backup. We make 28 of those. We could grab ourselves some more of those. And I think I need some of this. Craft out max, whatever. It's all good. Makes no difference. I believe that's it plus sticks, right? And feathers. I think so. so yeah, I think it's da, 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 da. Yeah, bone arrows. Pow. 20 of those. I just need... Actually, can make a full stack, dude. It's, that means the arrows won't break right away. Totally digging that. Okay, and you can go back in here. Actually, you know what? I think I have the rope I need for this. And we're going to put the other arrows. <laughs> There's always something. Uh, so, yeah, I need to open this up. I'm going to grab this. Put that there. Grab the good arrows. And here does tell you which one you have. Guessing I'm just going to place this here somewhere. For nows. And we'll deal with that. I need 20 more of those. Oh, yeah, I only have 8 of these. So that kind of sucks. I just realized the feathers is actually going to stop me from continuing. But we'll get 8 more. Not horrible. So it feels like I doubled up on the stuff I did. But yeah, no choice in it, right? Uh, so we hear more chickens and stuff. We should... 
probably go and kill them as fast as we possibly can. Uh, the other thing I can get myself organized with is making myself another spear here. And maybe a bone spear, which is really good bone shards. Uh, one bone shard, five plant fiber, and three sticks. Okay. Uh, we have the bone shards, plant fiber, and sticks. Probably going to make two of those in case of emergency. And is it on the advanced workbench? Most likely because it's... Uh, no, it's on a regular workbench. So I should have done that much earlier on. We could also do steel spear. I don't think I don't have the sharpening abilities of it. So I'm just going to hold off a little bit. Uh, can I make two? No, it's not correct. What, craft failed, no free slots. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, we'll put this down here. A little bit of trash in the ground. Please do not uh, judge me. Uh, I, I just... I will need a little bit of space to do some stuff until we get the racks and stuff. Then we'll have be okay. Okay. Okay, we got one, and I'll drop that one here. I like the way it fell on that one. I just would like it to be exactly like that. It was like this. I was doing it. Oh, whatever. And I think I've way too much here. Perfect. And a bone shard. Yes, craft it. Nice. All right, this will last obviously a lot longer and more durable, better off for us. Uh, so we might, you know, I, I do recommend you do it as fast as you possibly can. I guess also more biofuel here, which are the three stack. If you have a lot of these, you just put them in here, three, bam, craft. And you got yourself a little, one little thing of biofuel. Love it, cherish it, make it your own. That's important. All right, and I think we're okay with the rest of this stuff here. Yeah, we're pretty good. So, God, we got that done and rolling. That's cool. The other thing I did need to do, uh, while we still have it before we head back out, is going to be, come back here, placeables, and the loom. And that's right here. What does it need? Eight nails, two iron ingots. Okay. It's going to be crowded until we build up the other place, so I apologize in advance. But no choice. Why am I dizzy for? Super thirsty. No, let's, uh, let's take a drink. Uh, do I have any foods and stuff? Not really. Probably a good thing to go look for some fruits and stuff. I don't think I have a ton of that in my backpack, right? No. Okay. So, might have to keep our eyes open for fruits and vegetables and stuff. They do spawn in quite a bit in our area, too. So, it's not the end of the world. They will pop up uh, as we progress and a lot. So, I don't know. Hopefully, soon, we'll be okay. Let's go and build that loom. And I'll place it properly afterwards. So, I need plant fibers. Two iron ingots. My last two. And two wood logs. Got you. Roger that. And then you hop that. Okay. And what else we need? Eight nails. I have one left. Oh, no. I'm missing what I mean. Oh, no. Okay. Let's do a full stack of these. What's the chance of missing one single friggin' nail? I really don't want this attack to come in, dude. That's the reason why. It's still early on. I, I don't want to, have to deal with this, but I do have at least the ability to fight them now with, you know, the proper stuff. But I don't want it to come in here and start fighting with it. It gets a little frustrating. Uh, we have two more of those here while we're waiting. We can do a little bit of work. And, uh, yeah, put this, grab these, boom, boom. Craft, craft. All right, I believe the, uh, while we're looking at this here, I believe the sharpening tool was under other, I think it is. Uh, there it is. Yeah, tech not obtained, so it is tech available. Is your tongue sticking out? No, your mouth is open. Don't judge me. Uh, what are we at now? Eight value? Oh. Good. Okay. Come on. Someone think change. Quick. 
Why does it take so freaking long? It feels like it's not that long when I usually do stuff. Now it's like super long to get done. We need definitely the bigger forges. I'll do one shot of that. All right, so I was just running around looking for some vitamins and stuff, and that's pretty good. I think we're okay, but could always use a little bit of a boost if we could. It's a little bit of boost. All right, and what else can we get here? Oh, so, there we go. Thankfully enough, these ones pop out in orange here. Beautiful pumpkins. They do a great job. Yeah, I don't know. Watermelon would be nice, but I'll take the cucumbers right over here. I'll take also the rock. We need to go back and turn that thing off. That's perfect. Look at this. All of a sudden, it's all popping in here. You can also look for the onions and stuff that are in the ground. They're harder to find, obviously, like a small plant like that. Uh, but they do pop out once you know what they're looking for. It's not a time for panting. I need to turn this stuff off, dudes. Okay, we're good. Boom, boom. <gasps> out of water. Uh, off. Off. Come on. Man, that value is going up quick, dudes. Once it reaches the top of 10, once it hits 10, it, bam, everything starts happening. So you got to be careful. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we need to get more water in a second. I just need to finish up my loom here, which I believe I have nails need. There we go. Put this in here. Craft that baby up. Perfect. I'm just going to place it properly. And here we can make ourselves clothing and cloth and all the wonderful stuff that we need to make. Uh, so very, very handy uh, for us to get completed. I think we also need that to make the backpack, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, da -da, very good amount increases the amount that we carried, uh, crafted on loom. So yeah, we need four croc skins, which I, I haven't looked at that. I think it's right here. This is where you should go for uh, the crocodiles. It's still the same. Uh are we ready? Probably not a good idea to go too early. I do need a table like this to uh, to bring it over there. It's going to take up 10 more. Now, the reason for that is because you get like a little more of those croc skins and stuff. You need to actually butcher them here. That's the only way for it to happen. Uh, this doesn't work or else, or else you have to bring one back at a time. Not very good idea, especially when it's far away. If you live next to it, then go for it. Uh, but for me personally, I just can't see myself doing that. Anyways, it is nighttime, and we're going to have to kind of deal with that. I don't know if it's about the rain and stuff. We're probably going to leave the episode here. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of this. If you guys and girls enjoyed us, again, please take time. Hit the like button if you're brand new. Please go and subscribe. You guys are the best. This is Game Edge. No catch, guys. On the flip side.